please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Creed Revelations, Game Thoughts. When Ezio pretended to be a loot player, by the way, I really enjoyed his lyrics, you know, and, and his terrible singing as well. I really hoped that there'd be like this El Mariachi kind of moment, and I kind of got that there at the end when he broke the loot and then stabbed that one guy with, you know, the broken off end. That was pretty cool. Don't you just love how they do all these videos in the multiplayer section, which they really didn't have to do. And I'd say about half of them are basically just, you know, do well and you'll rise to the top and screw up and you're dead times a thousand, you know. There's like one where they actually do get into how, you know, they give their Templars all these benefits and, you know, that's why they're hated by them 99%. Wait. Anyway, and then the last one says, you know, aha, we have, you know, what is it, William Miles, you know, we, he, we know where he is and we're going there. So that's just kind of setting up Assassin's Creed 3, which really looks like it's going to be the last one if they actually do fall through. Anyway. But, but yeah, I just really wish that they had done more with that. Although the various, you know, the files that you got to read were interesting enough, you know, and, and you finally got to meet a few characters that are Templars other than Vidic. You know, I have no problem with the guy, but are other people working there? You know, people with faces and names, you know, other than him, it's just troops, basically, and Lucy, who was, you know, an assassin, so, yeah. In one of the last Sophia memories, you are you know, out to get her some white tulips, and the florist, you know, is all like, ah, you look like a man who knows what he needs. Yeah, and you look like a pedophile, dude. Seriously, what is going on with that? Why did they make that character so sinister? You'd think there actually was something going on with him, you know, and then your mission is to, like, follow him, but nope, he just goes to a place where you can pick tulips, and then you pick tulips, and that's it. Yeah, I don't know. At first I was slightly put off by how quickly they went to Altair as, you know, ancient, but... I mean, it's like the second of those memories, as I recall. Oh wait, third. Might have been third. No wait, he's like... Anyway, not important. He gets to be really old in these memories really fast. You know, I, I quite liked seeing what happens directly after, you know, the end of the you know, the first one, with him burning the body of al -Mulin, just to make sure, you know. And then, you know, with, with the apple, that was pretty cool. And the... But, but yeah, you know, after that, he's just really old, and he can't really run that much, and just barely kill people either. Oh, that he can't do. I like how he has the hidden gun, you know, the, the apple made me see the future. This is something it showed me. You know, that was pretty cool. And when he actually starts using the apple, I love the change. I find this a much more satisfying and effective way of actually using the apple. That was one thing that bothered me about, you know, that before. You know, it was just really dumb. I'm not going to be spoiling how it was before in this, but yeah, you know, yeah. I know about Almolin, but how am I supposed to talk about that without talking about the first game. Besides, if you've played this game and know that, then it's already spoiled. So anyway, in this, you know, I don't know, like phantom assassins come and attack the people covered by the the apples area effect or something like that. It was, it was just really cool. And I like how, the, and they actually keep fighting. I noticed that, you know, for a while they were just continuing to fight the, this one guy and then they actually attacked some guys that I hadn't even, like, 
hit with the area of effect of the apple. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And I do like finding out all this stuff about what happened to him later, you know. In the, you know, not long before the death of, I think, Prince Ahmed is what he's called, you know, they have this exchange about the keys and, you know, Ahmed is like, two men who should be friends, fighting over the keys to a library. Surely there will be more than one copy of Where's Waldo? You know, I, I quite like the fighting between them, you know, the, the whole thing with the the horse-drawn carriages and, you know, you use the parachute and then you're up above and you, like, kill them and sometimes use them, you know, you can throw one enemy into another, that was just really cool. And Sophia is steering and you're avoiding buildings and all that stuff. And then you're fighting the dude in the air, you know, it's just, that was really, really cool. You know, you have to defend against his attacks and all that, you know, I kind of do wish it had lasted longer, but then that's my reaction to all of these action set pieces in this entire series, you know. In general, Yusuf's death and the ensuing abduction and rescue of Sophia was quite cool. I did not expect that when, you know, when I started playing the game and yeah, it was just really, really cool missions, and I really felt like, you know, this is, this is big, I want to do this, you know, it, it, yeah. So, at the end of the game, you've slaved over getting these, well, slaved, it's an Assassin's Creed game, it's not that hard. You've gotten the five Mashiach keys, you solve the simplistic puzzle, because again, it's an Assassin's Creed game, the puzzles are either going to be extremely simplistic, or, you know, you're going to tear your hair out over how frustrating they are. But usually that latter category refers to the ones that you don't actually have to solve, you know, just the Subject 16 ones in the other games. Anyway, And you open it, and it's an empty library, and there's another Alter Your Memory, and... Oh, excuse me, there's an apple, another piece of Eden, and... That's kind of it, you know, I... And then, you know, Des Ezio starts transmitting this message to Desmond. I guess he already had this message within him, and it was just like... You know, he, he was going to send it to Desmond. Why did that have to be there? And why, like, then? What what told him that now Desmond could hear him, or now is the right time to do it? Is, is like, the, the building soundproof, and, you know, what he transmits won't be able to be picked up? Well, as you wouldn't even know about stuff like that, I guess. But, yeah, just, what is... And, and what does the Elder God say? Well, here are just a few answers. But, really, go there. You know, that guy has the answer. It, 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 why do they keep passing the buck? Just, you know, actually, I, this better actually be the place where there are freaking answers, you know. If the third one also doesn't have answers, man, you know, if I wasn't a reviewer, I probably would have given up on this series a while ago. Or, you know, if they were still making Prince of Persia games and I didn't have to live vicariously through the Assassin's Creed series. Did I say all that out loud? Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.